Mayfield has been officially traded to the Carolina Panthers. Now, before we get too carried away into it, Baker Mayfield is not a bad quarterback, guys. He led the Browns to the playoffs, their first playoff since, what, like 1996 or some crazy style like that. Like, it, it, he's been doing great things in Cleveland. Let's look at some of the stats. In 2018, he threw 3,700 yards. 2019, he threw for 3,800 yards. 2020, he threw for 3,600 yards. Last season alone, he threw for 3,000 yards, but he was hurt for 16 weeks of the season. What Week number two, he tore that labrum and played through it all season long. So, with that being said, all you Carolina Panthers fans needs to calm your role. Carolina Panthers literally stole Baker Mayfield from the Cleveland Browns. Baker Mayfield is paying Carolina to play for them when it comes down to. It comes down to $3.5 million what Baker Mayfield is paying the Carolina Panthers to play in 2022 or just even be on the roster. Not even to play, just to be on the roster. Take that into, take that into perspective. Wrap it around your brain and do that. Now, the reason why I'm telling you Carolina Panthers to slow your roll, I know you guys are, are excited. I know. I mean, I think Baker Mayfield is a playoff-winning quarterback. He is going to do great things when he gets an opportunity to start in the NFL. But my man Tyler Haneke said it best. They are not going to pay Sam Darnold $16 million to sit the bench. They are not going to pay Baker Mayfield $2 million to start over a $17 million quarterback. It's just not going to work. Sam Darnold is the starter in Carolina. Now, if he messes up throughout the season, starts playing bad Sam Darnold like we did in the Jets a couple seasons ago, yes, Baker Mayfield is there. So Carolina, you guys got a very valuable backup quarterback in Baker Mayfield. But that is what you got. You got a backup. He's not going to start, sadly. I think he should start. He's better than Sam Darnold. He will lead the Carolina Panthers to a playoff berth. I, I see it, but he's not. As long as Sam Darnold is on the roster, he is not going to start in Carolina come week one. But positive for you Carolina Panthers fans. Baker Mayfield is only on a one-year deal left with the Carolina Panthers. You guys drafted Matt Carroll. You still have P.J. Uh, PJ Walker. I like P.J. Walker. I think he, he will do good things. He'd be a good, valuable backup. Chase Daniels comes to mind when you put P.J. Walker out there. But the bright side of things, like, like I said, Sam Donald is probably out after this season. Baker Mayfield is probably out after this season. Matt Curl is going to have a full season to grasp the NFL culture. He is going to have a full season to learn how to prepare like a professional. He's going to have a full season to get the swag of Baker Mayfield in one full season. Is he the savior? Possibly. Very well could be, right? Very well could be. But, Baker Mayfield, all you Carolina Panthers fans, slow it down, baby. Slow it down. He is not your guy. Sorry. Man Hour Nation, let's get this party started. Are you ready for the best damn radio show on the planet? Men Hour Nation, rise up. I would like to personally welcome you to Man Hour at the dark. Say that why I bring you the host, Mike. You know what I'm talking about, sports. That's Give me you facts on the field to the core. Uh, Tune in, we need the support. One hour too short, tell us some more. Oh no, your station not dropping no music. Starts like Adidas, but Nike just do it. Down four on the fourth, we go for the win. Michael, two seconds, we taking it in. Buck, Mike, and Combs, you know what's going on. Man, now we're out the dark. No LA, we a big spark. No fourth and inches, won't cut short. Got the best talk in this all sports. Buzzing more than buzz beaters. We coming live, all three speaks go. 
And what is up, Man Hour Nation? Michael Buckhouser here with the Man Hour. Be sure to head over to manhourradio.com. Check out the merchandise page. Check out the blog section as well. My man Tyler Faber just wrote a great article about top four fantasy quarterbacks going into this 2022 NFL season. And he gave you three or four sleeper picks as well. So, guys, I do know there are some buffering issues over on the YouTube page. Instead of 3,000 uh, frames per second, I put 30,000 frames per second. I tried to adjust it during the intro, and I had to stop the stream to redo it. And I I don't feel like doing that so uh the audio should be good guys um yeah so if, if if there's big latency issue guys just let me know we'll figure it out uh and unfortunately i'm, I'm just i'm just gonna have to stop it i'm gonna have to stop it and restart it again my bad my bad <laughs> 